Hello, how are you? Good morning, 大家好。呃、uh, ，Sarawak boy here、uh, Edwin in South Australia, the school farm. So today I want to show you a few interesting things happening at the school farm、uh, with a particular focus、uh, at the beef cattle、uh, that we have.、Um, we have just got two beef cattle arrive at school、uh, this week. Let's do it. Okay, so、uh, with beef cattle,、um, beef cattle,、uh, there are two types of cattle in、uh, in the Australian farming industry. One is the beef,、uh, which is producing the meat, and then the other one is the dairy industry, which uh, uh, mainly uh, for the milk. So、uh, with beef cattle at our zoo, we take、um, the cattle, the steer, right? They're the castrated male、um, to the show every year. Students get exposed to the beef industry and also the handling side. Because cattle are so big,、uh, it can be、um, uh, quite challenging to handle, and so it requires a certain amount of skill and confidence to do that.、Uh, but that's beside the point. The point today is I want to show you、uh, when cattle are first、um, introduced to the grain diet. Right, we at the farm we have、um, the pellet diet. The pellet diet、uh, is what helping them to grow a lot of muscle and、uh, muscles. You get paid by the muscle, so usually the higher the weight,、uh, with the minimal or most efficient amount of feed, the better. Okay, so、uh, however, with grain, you with grain pellets or grain mix, you can't start them、uh, straight away. It's just like how you introduce new in,、uh, diet to your cats and dogs. So to begin with our beef cattle, usually we、um, we know how much they weigh. And then we always start from、uh, one kilo in the first two weeks, and after that you gradually double the amount every、uh, one or second week. But in the process, you actually watch out for any signs of grain poisoning.、Uh, so this is the grain mix. So, here you go. But it's kind of like、uh, pretty much a formulated food by nutrition. Okay, and we find it to be very very efficient in terms of、um, converting. Gain about one. They can gain up to about 1.5 kilos a day of muscle or of weight every day at the school farm setting. And in a feedlot setting, they gain way more as well、um, due to various factors. Okay, so so today we will be feeding one kilo of grain. So we need to do that. One kilo of grain with、um, molasses. Alright, so to do that, obviously I just need. There you go. One kilo to begin with, roughly. And then you pour it into a green cup. I mean, you can pour it into any green cup because we're hand feeding them. So, so we are doing that. So after we put the one kilo of food,、um, we mix some molasses. Molasses are literally、uh, essentially sugars. Okay, and the whole purpose is to increase the flavor of the food. So we so they can eat them uh, uh, more inclined. Amount of molasses. It's just for the first few weeks, just to make them kick kickstart their their diet. And then after that, that's pretty much it. We're、we'll、going to feed the cattle now. Thank you. So I mix a little bit of the hay.、Uh, which is up here. Yeah, these are the pasture hay. So、uh, any roughage or high quality hay will be a、uh, very good choice、um, to supplement,、uh, so that they can actually get an adequate amount of、um, fiber in their diet. Cattle、uh, are ruminant animals, which means they have four stomachs. So、uh, with four stomachs, literally what it means is you、uh, you are feeding the bacteria in the gut rather than the animal itself. So that's why the grass are very important because those. Microbes, organisms in the guts enjoy、uh, breaking down a lot of this food. Okay, hand feeding only、uh, required. It's only required for the first maybe month or two. And after that, once you not you spot them not to have any、uh, diarrhea issue, which is your grain poisoning、uh, from eating too much grain,、uh, 
then you can literally put them on a self feeder. Self feeder means they can eat whenever, whenever they feel like, uh, which usually is up to 1% of their body weight every day. Okay, so, um, and then after that, um, you are pretty much uh, a lot more clean and it's easier to manage. Okay, so those are the two um, beef cattle that we have. Uh, they are steers. Both of these are two different breeds. As you can see, uh, the the white silvery one is called the uh, Charolais. Charolais is what was originally a French cattle. Uh, the meat, both are meat cattles. Um, the other one is called the Shorthorn. Uh, very, both are very very good meat beef cattle. Okay. So uh, what we'll do is we'll put them into the pen so they can eat their food. really calm when you work with them because uh, animal can sense your vibe so if you have so or excited or very anxious or very um, nervous they can actually sense it so you have to sort of like you have to you have to work for with them for a while so that to know cattle as a breed okay as a as a as a life goal. so pretty much now that they are in hand um, we let them eat okay, so, so they know their food okay they have their water uh, yeah, so again, this is a short horn. Both of them are males, castrated male. Uh, Steers um, is uh, very, very popular in a feedlot setting because uh, you, by, by castrating them, you actually remove a lot of the aggression from them uh, due to the testosterone. And uh, from here, uh, and the, the other one is the Charolais. This one is about 420 kilos, that's about 450. So, yeah, and they're not even one year old. Food. And then once they eat their food, we'll let them out and so they can pretty much walk around with the, in the yard or the day. So now I'm going to go to the uh, baby Korea and see how the Korea is doing after a week. Alright, there you go. That's the alpaca. Uh, it's actually a boy. Hello, Hello Chloe. Hi Lapis. How are you guys doing today? Yeah, so little baby boy is drinking milk from the mum. Mum is a really really good mother. It's a first time mother, uh, but surprisingly um, uh, qualified. Uh, seems like she has done it for a few times already. She stood there quietly. Baby wants to drink milk. So yeah, I'm just a very very giving lump. Beautiful uh three. Oh by the way, this is the Wakaya. Wakaya are a lot uh, more fluffier. Uh, look like a teddy bear sometimes uh, when they're fully uh, fleece. And this one has been shown um, last year in October. getting warmer so uh, that's it for today at the farm I uh, hope you guys learned a thing or two about cattle uh, there are actually a lot of contents uh, still to be coming for about cattle because yeah there's so much uh, that we um, can talk about all right catch you guys later have a good day see ya ciao